sit here going live. We're going to have to sit here waiting. Um, I'm sorry about y'all. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I don't know what is going on. My Mevo is acting funky. I think maybe Pennywise jumped in and possessed it or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Now that I did two, three Pennywises in the bedroom, I bet you my Mevo kind of went like, oh yeah, now Pennywise is in Mevo. Probably going to float my Pennywise right on down the river or something like that. Take the Mevo with it. That's probably what it did. It took its brain today. All right, me and Mevo, mm -mm, move over Mevo. So I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got disconnected. So I feel like I'm not supposed to watch this. You know what? It's Pennywise. Pennywise, is, um, Pennywise has gotten into the Mevo and has taken over it. And it's probably going to try to get into your internet connection too. And head on over to where you are as well. <laughs> That's probably what I get for, um, for doing all those wreaths in the past few days. So I am sorry that you guys got disconnected. Um, we are back. I hope it stays that way. I swear to God, if it disconnects again, uh, I don't know. I might have to call that for the day or something. <laughs> and Miss Peggy, happy birthday. Hello, hello. I know, hello again, right? Connie, um, Nicole, I don't know, y'all. We're going to have to play this one by ear. I swear, if this happens again, it's almost like a uh, an omen. At least today's not the 13th, right? <laughs> It would be worse if it was. Um, so again, my name is Isabel with Sparkles in the ATL. Apologize with that. I don't think the internet had anything to do with that. I'm not quite sure why my Mevo decided to power itself down. So, hello, hello, hello. So, I apologize about that. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, where did I get the clown mask? Um, I got it off of eBay. You gotta be careful about. All right, so this is what we're working with today. So um, I just painted him on there. It wasn't that incredibly difficult to do. Um, you just kind of have to be even with it. Um, I kind of wish I would have done a little lighter. Once you see what I'm attached to him, you're gonna understand why. But at the same time, I'm thinking if we did do him in a lighter green, uh, I think he would have kind of like blended in with the background and just not stood out. So I'm actually thinking it's gonna work just okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, but this is going to be the kit. This is going to be the face on there, on the kit. And again, um, there's going to be small variations in the face, you know, because it is painted by hand, so not all the lines are always going to be exactly the same. I'll get it as close as possible. I follow the same exact template. Um, so yeah, so this is the character board. And by the way, I did add 15 character boards. If you're just looking to buy frames and nothing else, it is in my Etsy shop. So I did put 15 of them on there, and we're going to start off that way, okay? I don't have flower boards to offer up right now, but I am going to order some. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to try to see, okay, if I move the Mevo for, I don't want to move the Mevo too much because I jimmy rigged him. <laughs> so it's like if I move him too much, he's going to fall off. So hello, hello, Linda. Hello, Shirley. All right, so this is the green that we're working with, and I'm not quite sure it's a lime green. I think it's more like an apple green, potentially. It is a metallic and it is poly deco mesh. Um, it's the 10 inch roll, and I just cut it into eight inch pieces. If you cut it by eight inches, you will get the exact amount needed from one roll to be able to do this, okay? So just a heads up there. If you go any larger, you're gonna have to cut into another roll. Um, because I am doubling these up. No! Son of a gun! Not cool. I might have to switch to my phone. I am very upset. Son of a gun. All right. Y'all didn't hear me cursing. You just heard son of a gun. Ah, oh, me and Mevo. I'm not happy. Um, what did I do to my arm? No, that's just spray paint. That's just spray paint. All right. So... I am basically doubling up for each one of these, and we're just going to use ruffles around it, okay? So is that the center raised? No, this center on here on the Grinch is just painted on. 
So it's made in acrylics. Oh, if I am here, that means you probably heard me curse, Nicole. <laughs> because my Mevo was like lost connection. I'm like, no! So I start getting pretty angry at it. All right, so we're just going to put these in here. So I'm basically taking two ruffles, all right, and we're putting them in there, okay? So nothing complicated. Hello, hello from North Carolina. Miss Sparkles, hi Miss Barbara, how are you? Me and me though, we aren't agreeing today. Apparently I made it mad somehow and I'm not quite sure how. So, all right, so we're gonna ruffle this one up and I'm just gonna hold it here. And then I'm gonna take the next one, ruffle that one. All right, and some people put them on top, but if you put them on top, you're gonna get that sliced bologna look. Um, if you've ever seen a bunch of sliced bologna, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna kind of put them back to back like that, side to side. It looked like a burn. No wonder everybody kept at looking at me funny in Walmart earlier. <laughs> ah. You know what? Um, Cause I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, eight inch cuts, yeah. So I don't know, we're gonna have to look at that because I think my roll, have you ever guys gotten rolls from vendors sometimes and you're like, man, this roll is a little bit short. All I know is from this particular roll, um, and that's been happening to me lately because sometimes I'll get a roll of mesh and it's already been spliced and the vendors just kind of stuck it together and I'm like, mm. so yeah. I missed you guys too. But it is eight inch pieces, and from one roll you will get enough, okay? So just a heads up on that. All right, we're gonna put this one in here, and we're basically just going around. So all I did was put zip ties on my inner row right now. I have not done the zip ties for my outer row yet. So giving you a heads up on that part. I'm gonna do that one when we finish this row, because otherwise it just kind of snags on there sometimes. Oh, Darlene, hello. I miss doing lives too. I felt like we should have had a live last week too. I was like, oh. But the supplies weren't in and I just didn't have anything up my sleeve that was ready to go at that particular moment in time. So I was like, well, crap. So, and then this week I was like, you know what? Let's make a Grinch. Because I came up with an idea for the Grinch as an embellishment. Um, and so I decided, well, we need to make one then because the last one I sold. So it's not like I had one on there just to put the embellishments on to see how it would look. As always, you guys know that this is more like an adventure than anything else. <laughs> it froze again. Mevo, you better not kick me out again. <clears throat> All right. My Mevo's still showing on there. We upgraded to a new internet. So I shouldn't have a, I don't know, if you guys freeze up, let me know, but we are um, trying out a new internet provider, um, Comcast, I know, right? Um, but they had faster internet than what AT&T offered. Okay, I'm here, all right, good. So as long as I've got majority of the people saying that I'm here, then we're good to go, and that means it's on the other side. I've been making fake, bake, fake, Cupcakes, huh? Fake bake. Does that mean they're edible or not edible? I wouldn't mind a cupcake. Y'all, I've only eaten one pork chop today and that's it. So, all right. Look how fast this guy goes. I'm telling y'all, if you haven't tried these frames before, it makes it go by so fast. It literally takes in maybe a minute, two minutes tops to put all the zip ties in and that's it and you're set to go and the amount of time that would have taken you to put a whole bunch of pipe cleaners on there and get the pipe cleaners just right so they don't move so not edible oh interesting all right well I can't wait to see Barbara those fake cupcakes <laughs> Ireland. Hi, Joanne. How are you? All right. I know it's a little earlier than usual, but um, with it being summertime, y'all, my kids are staying up till upwards of 11 p.m. at night. 
Um, so I'm not going to be doing any nighttime, um, nighttime or evening videos, tutorials. So, because with them staying up that late, trust me, there's no way we'd even get a video done. Enrique would just be in here all up in the camera, and knowing him, he would take his diaper off and show all of you his tushies. Tushy, not she's. If he had more than one, I'd have to be concerned. Definitely would not want to clean that mess up. So, we've pretty much got him potty trained, except for at nighttime. Nighttime's the only time. So, we put a diaper on him. He gets mad at us, but I told him I'm not cleaning up his bed. Gaps and cracks, spackle and food color. Huh, interesting. I can't wait to see it, Miss Barbara. Hello, Marilyn. How are you? All right. I mean, these things, I love this mesh, too. That is a pretty, pretty mesh. You'll see why I chose it. <gasps> Near Legoland. Hi, Sonya. Our eight-year-old has been asking to go to Legoland. We're not going to be going this year, though, because it would mean that we're going to have to leave our soon-to-be four-year-old at home. So we'll probably go next year to Legoland. That way, I think they would both enjoy it versus just one. So, but we are going to the beach in about two weeks now. Did I put this one in backwards? No. It just felt weird going on there. You know, sometimes you don't hear that nice, smooth click. So, so again, um, oh, and don't forget, if you use code in the ATL and you go to uniqueinthecreek.com, you can purchase boards from there as well. Um, if you're Canada, they've got some other supplies on there too. They've got the, uh, what is it, the wreath inserts. They've got the inserts for the character boards if you're wanting to do something else with them. Um, and you can go there and get all sorts of different prints. And I believe the sale is still going on right now for the prints. So now would be a good time to stock up if, you're, if you've been wanting to check it out. I swear I just heard a dog downstairs. That must have been Abuelita sneezing. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Yeah, Nancy was talking about a bad storm earlier today. I wonder if it's the same area or not. So, where are you at, Debbie? And yes, I did paint that on, Tracy. It took a little bit for me to figure out to make sure it doesn't chip. Because the last time I had painted this on, I had a wooden frame. So it was a different experience. So, all right. And the inner row is almost done. I told you guys, this guy is quick and easy. Ha, ah, no pun intended. All right, moving right along. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be popping on Pennsylvania Man, we need some rain down here. We don't want the hail, though. I hope um, the vehicles and houses and everything else is okay there. Why is my arm red? I got eaten by an alligator. No, it's spray paint. If you look, you can kind of even see the semi-even line going across. You know what? I was feeling kind of hippie-ish and decided to paint myself. You know, I was getting in the spirit, back to earth, all that kind of junk. So, no, you guys know I always have spray paint on me. Even at the fifth grade awards ceremony, I came in there and, and, you know, my hands were covered in like brown spray paint, white spray paint, black spray paint. And my principal was like, you couldn't even clean your arm? I was like, it takes too long. I'd have to use a whole bunch of that uh, special cleaner stuff to get it off. And that's bad for your skin. Hello, Arizona, Miss Wendy. He is almost finished. I really like this mesh. I was debating between this one and a darker colored one, but ultimately the embellishments that I'm adding onto him um, was the final say so. So that was what made me go with this color instead. Normally I would choose the, um, the darker green. It's like you have emerald, you have the other green, whatever it's called, and then you have this one. I think this one's an apple green. So, um, I think the other one must have been a lime. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Hello, Sherry. Yes, finally found me. Probably first you saw the, like, video, and it was a, it, like, cut out on you. 
So right now we've been going okay, so hopefully it stays that way. Been having heavy rain, tornado warning. Oh my gosh, wow, North Texas, ouch. Yeah, I know Kansas got hit bad the other day. I think yesterday, I'm not sure. I think it was yesterday. I'm on summer break, so all my days are kind of uh, meshing and melding together now. <laughs> Hello, hello, Miss Sharon. Yeah, I like that color too. I like this color too. So I was a little unsure of it at first, but like I said, the thing that I made to go on the bottom, you guys are gonna love it. I'm actually pretty darn, pretty darn proud of myself. Um, I am not doing a kit for the clown. Um, me and that tall did not have a very good time together. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, messing with that toll is something else. Um, and I'm also concerned that because I had to do touch-ups to the mask that I got on eBay, um, because I had to do the touch-ups, I'm concerned about just sending it out to people and them knowing how to do the touch-ups and getting it just right. And then if they don't, then they're going to get upset. So I didn't want to take that chance. So... And making the, the two bottom sections, the white part and the gray part, that does take some, take some time. So, but he was fun to make. I don't even know what's gonna happen with him in a little bit as we get closer to Halloween. But honestly, I just like making my Pennywise. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember seeing a picture um, on Facebook an article and I was like holy cow the place seemed decimated by it um, I know they I know they're like the tornado valley but still you know I hope I haven't checked to see any more news reports today I've been in and out all day long so I haven't had a chance to read anymore but that's on my list tonight um, okay so we are not even done yet. And I know you can hardly, hardly see his face right now, but again, you know that we're gonna pull all this mesh out. It's just, I don't like touching the mesh more than what I have to. So at the very, very end, I'll pull everything out and we'll be able to see his face. <clears throat> so, um, but he's already getting full and we haven't even added the second row yet. <coughs> so we're gonna go ahead and add the second row. And you'll have to forgive me, I've got to get a little drink real quick. Um, my voice is still kind of off, so uh, don't rush Summer. <laughs> but um, my voice is still kind of off from being sick, and I'm, I've still got that leftover crap from the cold and everything. All right, so now what I'm doing is basically we're just going to add our second row in there, okay? And you can kind of see, this is where you're using. So you're basically gonna reuse that hole right there. So I'm gonna flip him back over because it's easier for me to do that. But I just wanted you to see for a second there. We'll see if I can do it backwards. Oh no, we'll see. All right, so we're gonna come up through here. Right here, my bad. And feed him right through there. Same thing. So we're using these last set of holes right here. Okay, so we're gonna come up through here. What size did I cut the mesh? Um, it's a 10 inch roll, and I cut it to eight inches. So eight by 10, thank you so much, Miss Peggy. Yeah, Barbara, where did you order yours? Did you get it from eBay too? Depending on who you get it from, the seller that I had had a two month wait period. So that's why I'm like, we'll see how this ends up going. So. And you know what, if it looks like it has real hair, I wonder sometimes, like, is it real hair? Is it horse hair or is it real hair? <laughs> All right, I told you this guy would be quick, but I had to show him to you guys. He's very, very cute. And it's not that bad painting. It's mainly getting the right type of paint. I actually, I'm working on another painting um, I know I've been talking about the Stranger Things. I did a drawing for Stranger Things. I tried to send it for an art print and the quality just did not turn out as sharp as I wanted it to. And they were like, oh, you're gonna have to paint it. And I'm like, paint it? I okay. I'm like, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I did it real great with Sharpies. But, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna have to see what happens with that. All right, let's see here. Got them all? Yep except for that one that just popped out. 
Ah, oh, boogle butts. There we go. Get back in there. Someone is calling me from North Dakota and it's potential fraud. Decline. Don't you just love that? I've gotten so much spam, it's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Got five, it came from China. Yeah, that's where I'm like, we'll see. All right, and again, on the outside row, I'm also going to do double ruffles as well. And again, you put them on top of each other, you're gonna get that cut baloney look. So I put them side by side. Okay, so if you're doing the kit and you're trying to get that same effect, keep that in mind. All right, and now we're just gonna go to the outside. Let's see here. There we go. And I'm gonna have to play with that little, my new little thing. I like the lighting system for it. That was a good lighting system. Where'd you go? Come back here, zip tie. There you are. Okay. But the lighting system adds a lot. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna cut that guy off. Let me see if I can do something here. We come over here. All right. And we are going to go, let's try that. Let's see how that works. And we're gonna make it bigger. All right, let's see how that works. I don't know if that's gonna work for you guys. We'll check it, all right? But look how full it's already getting here. All right, I don't know. No, I didn't use a wood burner. Like I said, with metallic mesh, I just cut it. And then I'm careful about working with it. So, here we go. All right, put them together. And we're gonna find our next spot over here. And spread those out. Here we go, almost like going to the doctor. Okay, and where did this guy go? Here it is. Got a little lost in there with all the double ruffles, but I like it, it adds a fullness, and I like my wreaths to be full. So, okay. All right, let's see here, put that there. There we go, that's a little better. All right, got some extra here. So again, cut plenty. Here we go. Quick and easy. I'm gonna do a frosty next. I think the supplies are already on the way to me. So Santa Claus and Miss Claus are coming up and I've got some special stuff for you. Oh, that's right, I can't do my frosty yet. Oh, boogers. Cause I got something special in store for you. And it comes with my shipment. Aw. All right, you guys are just gonna have to wait for Frosty then. Hopefully he'll arrive soon. If they arrive, if everything arrives by Friday, um, I can easily have everything cut and I can do one of those lives on Friday. So I'll check later on this evening where the package is at and we can go from there. So. There's a whole bunch. Um, let me see here, Lisa, if you go on to eBay, um, because the sellers vary. There's a whole bunch of different sellers on there, so you can just do a search on there and then pick one that you like. Um, you always take a chance with China. Sometimes it works out good, sometimes not so good. <laughs> In the case of owls that I ordered, not so good. Supposed to be 11.25 inches, ended up being 11.25 centimeters. Big difference. All right, here we go. All right, where are you? Oh, there you are, little zip tie. Come on out. Okay. And if you prefer to put that zip tie in earlier, you can. Yeah, and there's a couple ones. Um, there's a there's a really nice nice mask on Amazon. Um, that super nice mask that I really really liked was like thirty five dollars. I was like, ah. I can't justify buying that unless I had a particular client coming to me, um, you know, who wanted that specific mask and was willing to pay the price for it. So I had to find something a little cheaper. All right, but with a little touch-ups, it was good to go. 
I made a few changes. All right, here we go. Hello, Miss Lori. How are you, Evelyn? Hello. Tracy, I cannot wait either. Guys, I was so like bummed last week when the shipment wasn't going to arrive and I got sick, which is like the world telling you not to do it that week in the first place. Um, you know, so, but that's okay. That's okay. Good things come to those who wait. So you guys will like it, I promise. And it's completely different from the ones that I even sell inside the shop too. So, the finished wreaths, that is. So, again, you can use code in the ATL if you go to um, uniqueinthecreek.com and you can order your frames from there. Um, they also have a sale going on uh, for the um, digital inserts that you can print from home and decoupage on. Um, they'll work right exact on this particular frame right here, the character board. So that'll get you 10% off in the ATL. Do, 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 do. So, all right, how many more we got? Looks like two. All right, two more. Here we go. And then that's gonna be it for the mesh. That one's gonna need a little bit of trimming down. But that's okay, this was that end piece. That's why I feel like I got a little stiffed or something like that. I bet you I got stiffed on mine. Happens from time to time, but at least I got what I needed out of it, so I'm okay. All right, here we go. One more to go after this, and then we get to do the embellishments. Now you know this is the Grinch, so he's got to have a Santa hat, of course. But that is not what makes this guy so special. Hello, Miss Judy. Here we go. Look at y'all getting to know each other. I love it. Did you guys, um, does everybody already know about the sister site that we created earlier this morning? Um, we already have Unique in the Creek uh, Reithers and Workshop, that group, but we also created a UITC, Unique in the Creek, UITC um, Supplies and D Stash group on Facebook. If you're already in the other group, all you have to do is find this one. I connected it at the top of the page. You'll see it in suggested groups. Um, and you can hit apply there. And if you're already in that workshop group, then uh, you'll automatically be accepted. So you shouldn't have to go through like this wait period for us to be able to uh, put you in for somebody to be online. Um, but if you're not, you know, you can always go there and that's where we can sell some supplies, flower centers, things like that, you know, whatnot. So, yeah. Um, and I may, let's see here, you know, whatever else you put on there. You can put kits on there extra pieces you have on there, embellishments you have on there. All right, we're gonna spread this guy out. Look how full he is. He's like a giant green cloud. So, all right, we are gonna fluff him out. Absolutely, Haley, so definitely check it out, okay? If you make signs, it's a good place to go if you're looking to buy something. So anything buying, selling, um, the only thing we don't allow in that group is we are not selling um, finished creations, wreaths, or whatnot, centerpieces, stuff like that. None of that. Just supplies and de-stash items. Um, there's already plenty of places to go to sell online, and we just want to keep this to the supplies and de-stash needed so people can get a hold of stuff they're looking for, poly burlap, whatnot, all that other good junk. Um, I hope, I think it's Margaret that sells the butterfly bodies, so hopefully she gets on there. So, that'd be good. All right, see, we're spreading him out. And it takes a little bit. So you just kind of grab it, pull the pieces out to where you want it. I'm not gonna get it 100% perfect right now. I just wanna pull it out so we can get to see his face a little bit better. All right, and with this kind of pulling, you're gonna get fraying, of course, okay? That's what a wonderful pair of scissors for is at the end. I think I messed up that whole sentence that I just said, and I haven't even had a drink today yet. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
All right, let's straighten him up just a little bit before we add the little embellishments to him. All right, we're gonna go in here, go there, okay. And kind of hard to do this from this. Usually I have him hanging up when I do this, but that's okay, just to kind of get some of the fraying away. And then I'll go back and spray him with the sealer afterwards after I'm done touching him. So we still got the hat to go. There we go. I just realized something on this guy. That's okay. I can go back in just a second and do it. I just realized I forgot to add my lights on him, but not a big deal. So it just changes the placement a little bit, but that's okay. All right, give me a second. So lights will be offered with him too. All right. Oh, I got one right here. Let's get that piece off. All right, good enough. Good enough for now. All right, let's dump him out. I gotta get a shot back in here anyway and, and vacuum the floor, so not a big deal. All right. So again, we'll have to fiddle with him a little more later, but this is at least enough for us to keep going. All right, now this next part, the hat part's not an experiment, okay guys? Does the sealer stop the frame? It stops a lot of it, Peggy. Um, I mean, obviously if you're gonna pull on it, you're gonna get it, but yes, the sealer's gonna stop a lot of it. Um, if you're using a high quality mesh, it won't be near as noticeable. If you're using one of those, the cheap dollar store stuff, um, and even some of the ones that come from Hobby Lobby, um, then yeah, you can potentially have some more frame to go with it. This little guy looks like he needs to move there. Um, but you can see him already. Look how cute he is. All right, and he's not done yet, okay? All right, so we need a Santa hat. <clears throat> Here we go, I'm gonna have to change the look of the camera in a second, because I'm gonna have to work sideways now. So if you get motion sickness or you're prone to it, just kind of avert your eyes for a minute while I move my Jimmy Rigged Mevo this way. All right. I'll move the, my little trash thing out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna add a little hat to it. So lights will be an option to put on here, and I forgot to put the lights on here, but it's not a big deal, um, because when that happens, I usually just take the lights and I thread it through here, okay? and pull it out and then usually what I do is I will weave it around the outer edges here and I'll push it against that inside zip tie okay so not a big deal okay so here we go um yeah all right so no you see the ah <laughs> <laughs> Somebody already saw it. I didn't think about that. I swear sometimes I am not that smart. Uh, I was trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. All right. Well, we're going to put the hat on first. Now everybody else is looking at those legs too. Now when you put the hat on, you have a couple of choices. You can add the hat straight to the top. Okay. Or you can go right here to the side. All right, I like to put him a little side, okay? As he gets stuck on the microphone, which you guys probably ended up hearing loud noises for. So let me get two eight inch ones, okay? And I think that's gonna do the trick here. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and poke some holes in him, okay? So let me look where I'm gonna do this. I wanna do it closer towards the bottom right here. Okay, and just so I don't lose that hole, I'm just gonna hold that there. And let's do right here. Well, we hope that I don't get my finger right. <laughs> All right, so let me get the zip tie in. So we're gonna put it through here. I think we're gonna go through here. All right, check that out. Then I'm gonna feed it through here. I had to pull it out. Okay, that wasn't too hard to find. Up oh, there we go, my bad. 
Sometimes it's like hindsight 2020. You got to stop and think for a moment, especially when all you've eaten in the day is one pork chop. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. There we go. We're going to do the same thing here. All right. And I'm looking to see where I'm going to put them. I might want to put them a little higher. You know what? Give me a second. I want to move that zip tie. I don't like where that zip tie is. All right. Let's use this one instead. We used where? Right. Let's do perfect. All right. So I'm going to do right here first. Um, because otherwise it was a little too lopsided for me. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. Let's see if I can find the holes again this time too. I found one hole. All right, so there's one. There is, where'd I put the other one? If not, I'll just make a freaking second one. There it is. All right, so basically I moved it right here to the top, okay? because I didn't like it, how far over it was. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way yet. All right, I kinda wanna get it in position first. All right, and once I get it in position, then I'll tighten it. All right, let's grab another eight inch zip tie here. I'm sleeping, it didn't register. <laughs> all right, let's take a look here. I like that idea too. See, my brain is halfway dead. I usually stuck his freaking hat. Let me pull some poly out. All these stuffing, right? Didn't have to go too far. There we go. There we go. My brain's thinking about food, y'all. Like I am hungry. This girl needs to eat. That's actually why I haven't had a drink yet because I haven't eaten anything yet other than that one pork chop. So let me get one more in there. Okay, so you get a little bit of stuffing. There we go. And we'll flatten that stuffing out in just a second. All right, and then we're gonna open it up. And it looks like it wants to attach to this zip tie right here. So let's flip it over. We're gonna go to that zip tie right there. So to make sure I don't lose it, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in there for a second. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and make his holes over here too. You ordered it from um, from Wish, Barbara? I haven't had uh, the guts to try Wish yet. There we go. So I'm a little leery on it. Okay, now, now that I got that spot saved, make sure it doesn't poke through the mesh. All right, we're gonna go through here. Come on, where, there's the hole kind of hard to see a hole when it's made in white. So you got to feel for where you're putting the hole at. All right, there we go. And again, I'm not going to get rid of it yet. Let's get this on here. And now let's adjust the hat the way we want him. All right. So notice I'm kind of putting a little bit of stuff in there. All right, there we go. Kind of pull it back. There we go. Now I may add some extra stuffing to him in a little bit, but for right now, that is good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna push the stuffing down so that the top of his hat kind of folds over to the side. There we go. All right, and he's even cuter. Now when he hangs up, what's gonna happen to the top of this hat is it's gonna end up folding over to the side, okay? And I can do all the adjustments to it later. But I kinda like that when the hat goes over to the side a little bit, okay? Pretty cute. All right, we're not done though. And here comes the part that I'm so proud of myself for, you know? Um, I'm not a sewing person, so I'm pretty proud of this creation right here. We are going to add dun, 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 his little legs. Aren't his little legs adorable? I think I put the zip tie thingies on the wrong side though. Ah, there we go. Duh, Isabel. 
All right. So here are the legs that are going to come with him as well. Look how green and furry they are. And then these little guys right here, you got your little elf shoes right here. So we're gonna add those to him. Now to make sure that I keep my feet in the right direction, <laughs> I'm going to make sure we got that here. Okay, now for the legs, I am going to use, since this lines up right down here with the middle, I am going to use this side and this side, okay, to put the legs in, all right? So just FYI, if you're looking, if you get them with the legs, this is where I'm using, okay? All right. Again, everything I do is pretty much an experiment. <laughs> I never know from one time to another what if it's going to work out or if it's not going to work out. So, you know, that's just the way it is. All right, and I think the zip tie is gonna be an issue here. So let me think. I don't wanna lose my spot on this zip tie. Okay, I want them to go behind. Like I said, my brain is like halfway dead, y'all. Let's try, what if I, um, okay. What if we, I think I put it already through the hole. My brain is dead. All right, I want it to go that way, right here, okay? I think it'll work if I do it from the inside. Now, if you guys get this from me, I'm gonna go ahead and put this zip tie in there for you so that you don't have to sit here hunting down. $200, I missed something. What cost $200? Holy crap. I gotta go back and read some of this, all right? So I'm gonna put it through here, all right? And then I'm gonna feed it down. In theory, this is how I see it working, y'all. I don't know if it's gonna be in, in person. All right, there we go, yep. And please do what I want you to do. Let's see, let's see. All right, so far so good. So far, so good, and so far, so good. Ah, okay, other than cutting off that little zip tie edge right there, not bad. All right, here we go. All right, let me get the other leg going. All right, got one on. He's a one-legged Grinch. <laughs> All right, so. We are gonna do the same thing here. <clears throat> and, all right, here we go. Put it right in here. Uh, nope, 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 that's not gonna work. That's right, I gotta switch this. That is right. <sighs> my brain is halfway dead. Actually, yeah, my brain is dead. All right, we're gonna put this in here. Start from the inside. All right, pull it up here through the back. Okay, and again, all of this is an experiment, y'all. Y'all know me. I don't mind doing it on camera. Experimenting, that is. With Reese, that is. Just saying, okay? I had to preface all that there. All right, where is, I'm trying to feel for it. That's the bad thing. Like, now I can't see anything. All right, I got the zip tie. Got the zip tie. We are in business. Um, the legs. I made the legs. I'm so proud of myself, Connie. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And there. And there. Oh. Tighten it a little bit more. I think, which one? This one, this one needs tightening. All right. There we go. All right, and now I need to tighten this one up a little more. There we go. Maybe tighten that one up too much. We'll see, we'll see. No, looks to be about, about the same about the same. All right, let me put him down. All right, so now 
we got our finished fuzzy little Grinch over here. I need to move that one around just a little bit. There we go. Got him. All right. And I'm going to hang him up in just a second so you guys can see him. But look at him. Is he not adorable? And Miss Lynn, you are absolutely correct now that I get to look at the comments. I made them absolutely. Um, inside of here is a pool noodle. Um, so I took the pool noodle, made the legs from here, used this, sewed that on there, and then I made the feet as well. So FYI. Um, there we go. Isn't he adorable? Hold on. So I'm going to hang him up, okay, and that way we can take a look at him. Now, the only thing is here, he's going to be better on a door than he is anywhere else. So, there we go. Let me hang him up, and we're going to take a look. All right. And I will move the Mevo so you guys can see. All right. Okay. Now, the, the legs are going to look a little funny for just a second but you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm about to move the Mevo, guys, okay? So if, you, if you're if you one of those people, you kind of get, ah! All right, here we go. We're gonna move the Mevo back up. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna move this right here so that the Mevo can't go down on us. Gosh, everything I say sounds terrible today. Um, okay, here we go. <clears throat> and let me grab our Grinch. I'm so excited. He's adorable. This idea turned out great in person. Wasn't sure if it was going to work in theory, and I'm pretty sure it can have a little bit of tweaking, but I love it. Okay, let's get him down from here. All right, so let's get it to where we can see. Awesome. All right, here we go. So what do you think, guys? Isn't he awesome? Isn't he just plain adorable? Now, this is one of those things that you get, and, you know, it's, it's going to be one of a kit. Okay. Uh-oh. There we go. The camera looked funny. So, um, again, if you use code in the ATL, then you can take 10% off um, uniqueinthecreek.com when you order. I've also got some character boards in my store as well, but this is the wreath kit that's going to be coming out later on this evening. I'm gonna take a look at see what time it is in just a second. And if I have enough time, I'll add it on there real quick, okay? Um, but what you get with the kit, you get the hand painted character board here, okay? You get the roll of mesh that you're gonna need to be able to complete him. You get the ties, you get the hat, you get some stuffing. Um, and you get the legs already right here as well, okay? Um, now, I'm going to offer in two options. One, where I just send you the materials and you make the legs yourself. The materials will be in there. Or two, where everything's already put together for you and all you have to do is take the zip tie and zip him on. So, but what do you guys think? Is he not the cutest little thing ever? He's adorable. I love him. Thank you. Yes, I painted it onto the board. So, he is gorgeous. And I didn't put lights on him right now, but what I would do for the lights is, um, I'm gonna go back and actually add lights to him right here and basically just thread it through the bottom and then kind of weave it through the outside area. And you're still gonna get the same effect. It's gonna be the same thing. Um, so, I hope you guys liked it. Um, and again, Will I sell the board with just the Grinch on it? I'm thinking about it, but right now, let me get the kits on there first. Um, I probably will do it with the just the Grinch's face on there, that's fine. Um, but let me get the kits online first, because I only have 15 kits available, um, and then we're gonna have to order some more. So, yeah, and, and again, the legs. If you wanna make them yourself, you know, take a pool noodle, all right, and then you just cover that, cover it with the fabric, and then you make the little cute little feet, and then you're set to go too. But he's adorable, and he would be perfect in a kid's room and for any Grinch lover. Yeah. So if you love it, make sure you send some likes and some loves. Um, share it with your friends, somebody else who'd be interested, and use code uh, in the ATL. Take 10% off, and then as soon as the supplies get in, 
the Santa kit, the Miss Claus kit, and um, Frosty will come out because I've got some cool things that are going to come with them as well, including some hand-painted stuff. So, yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out our sister site. Um, if you look on there for UITC Supplies and D-Stash, that's the sister site for Unique in the Creek for our wreath makers. Um, and you can go on there to sell supplies, to buy supplies, whatnot. Um, the only thing we don't do on there is sell finished wreaths. Okay? All right. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go to the splash pad in just a little bit and enjoy the rest of the evening with my little kiddos. Um, and then I'll get the next live lined up. So, all right. Well, you guys take care and have a great afternoon. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And then I gotta hit the bu button.